that. <laughs> good morning, good people. Paul the handsome one Harry here. here. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you where here is. I'm gonna tell you where here is. Here is Pasadena, California. Now the here isn't as, as important as the why. <clears throat> I decided to call a buddy and found out that he was here while I was here. So that's just too kismet to not hook up. So ladies and gentlemen, my friend. Hi, hi, I'm Jesse Peck. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Dad's Cafe right now enjoying coffee. I'm having a double espresso with chocolate and uh, a bit of half and half. Uh, it's quite delicious, quite tasty. Actually, it's a hot, uh, it's a hot milkshake is what it actually is. Uh, but yeah, I'm with the Spinners and we're performing tonight in California. Uh, we got here yesterday, uh, so we had a day of rest. And today we're actually get down and get busy. We're performing at San Juan Capistrano at the Coach House tonight. On Friday, we'll be in Santa Clarita at the Canyon Club. Uh, Saturday, October 8th, we'll be in Agora Hills at their Canyon Club. And doing the same on Sunday, October 9th, in Montclair. So if you're in the area, make sure you come out for a great concert. We're going to have a fantastic time. But it won't be as good if you're not there. So make sure you come on out. Oh, smooth. It's almost like he had training from somebody <laughs> professional. <laughs> He was good. That was good. <laughs> but we're in Doc's Cafe. I got a black one and it's pretty good. Uh, we just had breakfast over at Jets. Trying to decide what to do today. I think I'm going to go down to the venue where they're going to participate. And, and I good think morning. I'm going to go to the concert tonight. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably take you guys with me, all right? Now's the time when I tell you to get involved with public access. Fat Channel 17 there in Flint needs you. 810-239-2901. That's 810-239-2901. And, you know, don't just watch them. Let's make them. There you go. Okay? Also, if you've got clean music out there, I need clean music. No cuss words, okay? 810-259-9789. That's WFOV 92.1 LP FM Flint. Our Voices Radio. As always, baby, there'll be more. Can you make it in? Can you get in? Oh, of course I can. <laughs> I think I can get in. <laughs> I am uh, trying different ways to get in and out. I haven't perfected it yet. I was thinking Bo and Luke Duke, but that didn't quite work out for me. There you go. What do you need seat belts for? Okay, clutch down. Neutral. Clutch down. Clutch is down. Okay, uh, you push the red button. Oh, turn the key. Just turn the key. The yeah. Button. Ow. <laughs> you keep hitting your head. It's easy to get hurt in this thing. So now, here, Jesse, here's the big problem. What? Do you know how to drive a stick? Yeah. Ah! Line the Honda Civic was a stick. Was it really? The Honda was a stick. <laughs> For the courts. Okay. Okay. Now I understand why you fucking calling me a two <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mr. Paul? What's up, Black Man? How you doing, baby? <laughs> oh, well, I know that. Wait, that's what you said. Man, you got to come. You got to come right now. You got to see something. Is that what you're talking about? That Did guy. you see me driving it, Marvin? I don't see you driving. I just drove it.
only Ernie down here. The only Ernie down here. What are you doing? We got a club. Uh huh. Got a club, and I'm doing some traditional archery shooting. Traditional. What's the difference? Is there modern? Yeah. Well, no. It's, it goes back centuries when you have a traditional bow. This is a long bow. Okay. And I shoot the long bow, and I shoot a recurve bow too. But they're, they're all traditional bows. Okay. Just meaning that it's. From centuries ago, that's what they were using. They're not compound bows, bows right? Now there's compound bows. Okay. So we had a couple of guys down here just recently, this morning, shooting compound bows. So it, the range is open to the uh, members. Uh -huh. It's the PRA, Pasadena Roving Archers. And you join the club, and then you can come down here, and we have shooting uh, targets all the way down through for quite a ways. Oh, wow. So you can just so do a, like a walking tour and you shoot? You do, well, yeah, usually you just pick a, a, some area that you like the most. And, uh, you get some shade, uh -huh, yeah. especially this time of year. Uh, this is the main part of it. This is where uh, some of the guys, we get together a couple times a week and do some shooting together. So how does the hobby work? Is there a pointing system, score? Is yeah, there a no, national no, association? No. Do you guys Unless you compete? Want to, you can. We have uh, we have in most states, uh, in California and Oregon, and most states have clubs. And they do have uh, competitive shooting, so that you they might just be all traditional shooting, mm -hmm. and you go and then they have targets where you're set up, and then you get scored. Here we just come down and we practice. We got a group that gets together uh, three times a week and we shoot and we do have scoring. This is our scoring board right here. So we have two Oh, how oh, how cute. The little rocks. Yeah. Shift them back and forth. And so uh, a white one is a bullseye, a red one is something, or yeah, how does no, it work? No, it just depends on. Yeah, this is just a scoring board. It's just like one, two, three. So if you have. Group, the group shooting. If you get closest to the target, that group oh, will get a okay. get a, 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 a stone. A, a stone. <laughs> and whoever gets after five rounds, whoever has, has the most points wins that particular round. Okay. Is it expensive? And we just keep. What's that? Is it an expensive sport? No. Well, the bows are. I spent up to a thousand dollars for a bow, uh, but you can get bows less money than that, mm -hmm. depending on. There's, there's bowyers, and uh, usually we, we know a few bowers in the country. Mm -hmm. We might know somebody that we particularly like. This gentleman here made me this bow. It's all these are all handmade, okay. and then you have to match the arrows to the bow. So the arrows that I'm going to use. That this particular draw weight has to be the arrow has a number on it. And it's, and it's usually what it's regarded to is the stiffness of the arrow. Okay. If you don't have the right arrow for it, the arrow will kind of either fishtail or or uh, uh, nice. This arrow flies right. good. So I match the right arrow to the bow. Nice. I'm going to shoot another one. I'm going to see if I can get down there on that target and watch it. Yeah. To the left of it. Yeah. You're the uh, second one in, right? This is the second one. Nice. Nice. So, so is that why you don't use any paper targets? Because you're that good? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see I don't a bullseye usually, out there. You, well, usually it happens. Most people that, that do that are maybe just getting into the sport. It's like darts on steroids, it, isn't it? Huh? It's like darts on steroids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> so when you when you shoot for a while and you get better, then you start going to targets. And we have targets smaller than that we shoot at. Man, thanks again for taking the time. What's yeah. the name of your club? My name's it's the Pasadena Roving Archers, PRA. If you go online, you put in PR right? it gives all the information. Thanks for your time, man.
All right, good people. <laughs> Still in Pasadena, California, getting ready to head down to the venue. I don't know, I think I'm gonna get a motel down there and uh, chillax until the concert tonight. But I had to take a minute to check out the pool. You gotta love it. <laughs> gotta love it. There'll be more after this. <laughs> Listen, Paul the Handsome One Herring here uh, with a, a special opportunity for you. Uh, actually, that was given to us. YouTube has invited us to participate in the sponsorship program. So they are, have set up uh, some kind of system to allow you guys to support the channel. Uh, there should be a button down here somewhere. Join, support, sponsor. Uh, click it. <laughs> See what it says. Uh, I, I want to assure you that all the content that we always do uh, is still going to remain for you. Don't have to be a sponsor or a supporter to enjoy what we do here at Spectacle Productions. But you can be extra appreciated if you do. All right, down here, join, sponsor, <sighs> see what happens. All right. Um, we're also considering starting a new show for those that do choose to sponsor, and we're calling it the Meeting After the Meeting. And we'll allow you to be guests and hosts and help come up with the content and not maybe make you a star. I do not know. All right. But rest assured, I'm enjoying the life I'm living just until I can live the life I'll enjoy. And your support and our sponsorship will get us even closer to that. Remember, there'll be more, as always, after this. And, and after remember, this, this is your life. Go out and live it. Peace. What's your name? My name is Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm Paul. Paul, good to meet you. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Paul. Oh, wait, wait. Jesse Peck. Jesse, yep, it's nice really to good to meet you. Right on, Jesse, thank you. Yeah, uh, well, I just am coming down here. I've been working on this for actually a couple of years, but next, uh, last part of next week, I'm going to go with some people from the casting club up to uh, Convict Lake. And that will be my first fishing trip. To actually catch fish, huh? Well, it would be a good idea if I came home and said that I got one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> After, After all two years time, of practicing. Oh my gosh. So, so now explain the sport to me. What does all this mean? Well, um, the idea is, is that there are not many places that have uh, pools like this where people like me can practice. There's another one in Long Beach. Okay. And then only two more in the state of California. So this is actually kind of rare. Okay. So I joined the casting club, but then COVID happened and everything slowed down. Well, it doesn't look like that. I mean, you can six feet away from everybody down here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. As he shows the empty pool. <laughs> right, yeah. So, so uh, I mean, there's got to be some lingo involved with the sport. Well, I, well, yeah, the, the, I, I'm trying a couple different casts. The really basic cast is the pick up and lay down cast. So that's the idea. Wow. And right right into the center. You're supposed to aim at these rings. Now, what I'm really trying to do today is practice another kind of cast called the roll cast. Okay. Which is probably the one most people use because most of the time you don't have a half mile in back of you where you can. So what you try to do is bring it up and then try and make it look like it. And then just do what you did before. 
and then it kind of rolls out. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So and is it all in the wrist? Uh, no, actually, that's what I had to forget. <laughs> it's in the shoulder. So what you do is your shoulder goes down, and then it kind of accelerates to a stop. And that was the hardest thing for me. You know, these people go all over the world, and, you know, they're in Belize and Hawaii and, you know, Canada, Argentina, you know. I, I'm just trying to get part of California in here. And is, you that, know, your, is that your house? <laughs> I live in West Covina. <laughs> <laughs> so that was not you, huh? That's not me. No, All right, so no, it might no. still be available, Jesse. Okay, let's let's, let's go let's, check, see if it's listed. Let's look into that, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully right. you might see a horse or two. But uh, yeah, uh, the other thing is is that there are coyotes all over this place. Even during the day, they walk by like a stray dog, you know. And then at night, when we have our meetings here, it's yelling all the time. So just watch your little peek Well, it's a good idea to take a flashlight when you go out to your car at the end of the meeting. Because they, because they will attack. I don't think so, okay. but, you know, we're just they're being hungry. careful. Yeah, I think they, they, they don't want to be near us, but they're just trying to find something to eat, too. Yeah. Yeah. Man, thanks so much for your time. What was your name again? I'm Mark. Yeah, it was really good to meet you, Jesse I'm and Jesse Paul. 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 Okay. Yes. All, All right. right. Well, you have a great day. Take care. Thanks, man. All right. All right. Casting. Casting. A hobby. You get another bullseye. In Pasadena, California, guys. I don't think they got this in Michigan. Yeah. Handsome one you're carrying here and here. Yeah, it it's still in Pasadena, California, and I am enjoying myself. I'm sitting at the pool, minding my own business, and this guy comes and starts telling me about his collection. Now, we just left the casting park and the archery range, and I just found it unique. Hi, my Tell me your name. My name's Hank Allen. I'm from uh, Chandler, Arizona. Chandler, Arizona? Yes, sir. Is that like in the mountains? Or no, where? no, it's in a desert about uh, 20 miles outside south of uh, Phoenix. Well, here's how I judge uh, Arizona towns. How many trees do you have? Hey, how, how much do you want to pay for water? <laughs> okay, we're going to okay. count that as a none. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell them what you do and why you do it. Okay, um, I am a substance abuse counselor. I work for a couple different agencies. Uh, I've been in the field for almost 30 years, 29 and a half years, been actually counseling. And I do it hopefully to save some lives. Not for the money, but save the lives. Nice. nice. Yeah. So now uh, you picked up another habit. Instead of crack and heroin, what, is, what are you addicted to now? No, sir, it is not an addiction. I am obsessed with Crocs. Obsessed. That's obsessed. a better word. I, that I, is a much better word. I have never had to rob somebody for their Crocs. <laughs> I have kicked the door into drug houses and said, give me your drugs or I'll kill you. Uh -huh. Haven't had to do that with Crocs. I imagine if I do that, if I go down that road, I'll put the Crocs down and go to Crocs Anonymous. Why Crocs? Why not? That's no. true. I mean, people it, collect other things. It, it's cheaper than crack, and it's something I can wear. I want to know your epiphany moment. I want to know what happened when you said, hey, I'm going to start collecting these things. When, when, <laughs> when I was uh, out of prison, I was meeting with my sponsor and we we're gonna meet for lunch and my shoelace broke. And I got all freaked out and I was gonna go drink because my shoelace broke. And my wife, she told me to call my sponsor and, and I called him and he said, let's meet for lunch. So I put a different pair of shoes on, went and met with him and he said, dude, he said, get a different pair of shoes. And I said, how do I do that if my shoelace gonna break? He told me wear shoes without shoelaces. Crocs don't have shoelaces. So I never have to worry about my shoelace break. Nice. And that was the trigger that yeah, was going to get that, you to use again. That was about 25 years ago. Nice. Nice. All right. How many pair? 89 pair. And do you have a target number that you have? I mean, how many different Crocs do they make? Uh, well, I, uh, I would like to get to 100. My wife, not so much. 
Um, <laughs> may, maybe 90 for now. Um, and they make, well, there's a lady out here in California I've heard of that has over 7,000 pairs of Crocs. And she buys every size, but I only buy Crocs I can wear. How do you store them? I have an eight foot by eight foot shoe rack in my office. Takes up one, <laughs> one whole wall of my office. And that's a conversation Co starter, isn't it? Color coordinated, match it with my clothes. Nice, nice. Man, I appreciate you talking to me. Absolutely, brother. Crocs guys, you can collect <laughs> anything you want to. I think I'm gonna start collecting toothpicks. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> there you Something go. Something small. There you go. <laughs> right on. All right, guys. Thank you. As always, if you want to get involved with public access television, give us a call at 810-239-2901. That's 810-239-2901. And WFOV, we're looking for clean music. If you've got clean music, holler at me, 810-259-9789. It's Our Voices Radio, and we need you, too. All right, as always, there'll be more. Good morning, good people. <laughs> Listen, Paul the Handsome One Hearing here uh, with a, a special opportunity for you. Uh, actually, that was given to us. YouTube has invited us to participate in the sponsorship program. So they are, have set up uh, some kind of system to allow you guys to support the channel. Uh, there should be a button down here somewhere. Join, support, sponsor. Uh, click it. <laughs> See what it says. Uh, uh, I want to assure you that all the content that we always do uh, is still going to remain for you. don't have to be a sponsor or a supporter to enjoy what we do here at Spectacle Productions. But you can be extra appreciated if you do. All right? Down here. Join, sponsor, see what happens, all right? Um, we're also considering starting a new show for those that do choose to sponsor, and we're calling it The Meeting After The Meeting. And we'll allow you to be guests and hosts and help come up with the content and not, maybe make you a star. I do not know, all right? But rest assured, I'm enjoying the life I'm living just until I can live the life I'll enjoy and your support and our sponsorship will get us even closer to that. Remember, there'll be more, as always, after this. And, and after this, this is your life. Go out and live. Peace.